hey guys welcome back again to my channel in today's video you are going to be learning how to test a wordpress plugin testing in the aspect of developments okay like an advanced wordpress development using php units without further ado let's dive straight to the code so the first thing that you must do is to ensure your server is up and running so i'm going to start my server so as you can see i'm starting my server so once this is done then the next thing to do is to um, head down to the WordPress installation that I will be using, which is WordPress 2. So on the WordPress full page, it will ask me to log in. So let me try to log in my account on my development environment. Okay. So this is loading. Let's wait for this to process. Okay, cool. So now we have this page. Um, up and running so with the plugin that we're going to be using is not yet ready so we just want to make sure our our what's it called our environment is up and running so you can also do you know you can go ahead and update your wordpress um directory which is also very important so i'm going to update it to uh, the latest version so i'm going to click on updates and that should also download the latest version from wordpress repository <clears throat> so let's wait for these to process okay so it's loading so once that is done go back to the dashboard and head down to the plugin section so when you get to the plugin section then the next thing we are going to be uh, looking at is php unit for wordpress so php unit for wordpress so when you type php unit for wordpress just click on the first one so this is just for installation purpose no no i mean no big deal so you can follow this guide to set up the base architecture this will help you with installation of things like you know npm um composer um, composer updates all those all those base things but what i'm looking at is the testing part how you can actually make that work so i i have gone through this process and i've installed every necessary things so the most important one that you must make sure it's available is the npm make sure npm is installed make sure you have composer installed and make sure you have svn installed where is it svn um svn svn should be somewhere around this place oh it's not here let me search for it svn okay okay cool this is it so make sure you have svn installed and <clears throat> and when once you're done you know setting up all those things make sure you pass the um the directory to your um what is it called to your environment variable either on windows and if you are using a uh, mac make sure you also pass it to your environment variable on your mac os area so once all these installations are done then the next thing um, you would like to do is to go ahead and uh, clone this repo on my github account so my github is adelaide higher dg so slash wordpress test plugin so wordpress test plugin so this will help you with the base architecture once you are done with this installation don't do anything else just come over here and you know, download it like clone it so i'm going to select this copy url so once that is copied then i will head down to this directory wordpress 2 that is my development environment so i will head down to the directory so i will reach the dog and uh what is it called wordpress 2 contains and plugins so inside plugins folder i will create a new terminal folder then clone sorry git clone drop it and that uh, will clone the repo so now the repo is cloned so now we have the um the folder ready to ready for testing so if you reload uh, your plugin area we should find that oh okay i think the folder is not um 100 okay it's just for testing purpose we do not have index file 
So how do you mean there's an index entry file is gonna show up? So let's just go into the code and see what we have. So I'm going to open my um, development environment, which is in this case Cursor. So this is the folder. So why it's not showing up is because there is no entry point for this plugin. So so if we have entry point, it's definitely going to show. So if if you let's say we want an entry point, so I'm going to write WordPress iPhone test iPhone uh, plugin then dot PHP. So here we have PHP. Then we have start plugin. We have start plugin and we have this. So let's just say test. So as you can see, this is just an this is just a basic entry point. So if I save this, you will definitely see the um, plugin files here. But this is just basically testing. As you can see, the entry point has shown up. So you can basically run your functions within this place. Run functions. You can basically run your functions within this place. So as you can see, this is how this is done. Okay, so without further ado now, the next thing we're going to now look into is setting up the base architecture. So I'm going to, so don't worry, this entry point is not really important, but if you have it and you plug in, it's totally fine. You can always call it. So once all those um, package are installed, SVN, NPM, and Composer, just head down to this place then navigate to the test area as you can see i added um the folder is already added then i added test user i also added some things in text example which is not um available yet okay so now once you navigate to this test folder you can click the bootstrap.php now as you can see in the bootstrap.php we have the require ones point to the directory of vendor and pick the auto load file but at the moment as you can see in this directory we do not have the auto load folder because this is going to go outside this folder and pick the vendor but we don't have that yet so we are going to make sure this is installed using the composer the composer you set up earlier then once that is done then this will also come in from the package that we're also going to be working with so we are going to be working with um php unit we are going to be working with php uh wpp hp unit and that is the dedicated version for wordpress how you can test it then the next one is the used php unit polyfills okay so the script i also added was this so when you write when you run composer uh, test it triggers this guy and it should work. So the the, con the config environment part is set for PHP 8.0, but you can go ahead with any version that uh, me you would like to work with. And you can also set your allow plugins. No, as you can see, we have the allow plugins to the root WordPress core installer to true. So follow the same thing and make sure this is also true. Okay, so once you are done with this, then the next thing um, we would like to do is to install the package. Okay, so now I'm going to um, run this package as um, I'm going to open it as an integrated terminal. So that's what I want to do. Let me show you how that is done again. So let's say you would like to run a terminal function directly in this folder, right click then select open in integrated terminal so that's how it's done okay so let me just close the first one yeah so once that is done then run composer install so composer install that i'm running we install the latest version of wordpress okay um i think the latest version is 6.5 those 6.0 and above that's what we stated here so i'm going to run composer installed then it's going to install the latest wordpress as you can see we have the folder and we also have our vendor cool so once that is done we now we now like we have now linked um the auto load file directly to our data as you can see everything should now work as you can see it is now working very well okay so uh once we are done with the installation then the next thing is to uh do our testing so don't uh, freak out all this 
are already um, part of what makes the WordPress folder works. Okay, all these are already there in the vendor PHP units, all this uh, environment. Because if you check the file that was also um, installed alongside, you are going to notice we have the parts configured for us already. So here we have the bootstrap directory, which is inside the test folder, is it? And the bootstrap is the same guy that we're coming from. So everything is already set for ROS. So you don't need to, like, you need to stress. So the test suite that we're going to be looking at is this directory. So everything in this directory is what we want to run. Anything that has to do with test iPhone file type. So if, if it has that prefix, we are running it. So also, once they are done with that, the next most important part that we also, we, need, we also need to look into is the WP config. Yes. Okay. So the WP config is um, like the entry point for the entire thing. Like it's the heart of the testing, the main, main system. So this tells where our WordPress folder is. And over here we have the um, WP debug, which is set to true. And our database, yes, our database is very important. So if you have um, the global database that is already installed on or configured on your folder, this will pick. But if it's not there, then you will have to um, set up your own database which is the wordpress test in my case so you need to make sure what your wordpress database is added like your local server let me show you the wordpress test i also had it so you go to this place now if you scroll down you are going to notice i have this so as you can see these are all my test for the wordpress test so make sure you have this uh, database um, added then you configure it you pass in your username you pass in your password and you pass in your um, database host once you are done with that so within this place now in your own installation it is very possible maybe you are starting from scratch you might not have all this alt key it might be empty like it might not be there at all so if it is empty it's very simple click on this link it's going to take you to a page where you can um, create it as you can see we have it here so just highlight everything copy it go back for this um to generate your own nouns and paste it within this place and that will update what you already uh, own so this is how this is done now the table prefix is what test underscore so just leave it where it is and test domain well you can leave this is not really important to um, change all this so the wp binary uh wp ph binary is like really PHP, just leave all this um, the way they are, which is totally fine. So once you are done with all this setup, click on save and close the WP config. Now we are now ready to launch our test. So yeah, I have test user and I also have test example. So text example works, text user will also work. So let me explain the text example. So here we have class text, class example underscore test which is created manually then we extended the wp test case so here now we have test it works so anything that has text underscore don't forget it's going to see as test is going to run it as text so here we have test it works so assert true so it's going to check if we have do action that is function exists so if it exists it's going to return true that's check mark for us so then the next one is text if wpphp units is what is loaded via composer so it's also going to do this testing and it's going to check if it's there okay so all these are regular text for testing purpose and the next test i have here which is the one i created myself so it's a text private user id and also for this test uh, fire up that is the construct that is the entry point so whenever this test is starting up do this that is create this administrator log in the administrator and if the user already exists i added this custom message print user already exists and else inside the user and if there's any issue creating the user log the error in the um what is it called in the terminal and also show this and uh, trigger this error and also if nothing happen and everything goes well then just show user created 
Okay, so once that that's for the fire up, that's the setup. Setup is like the entry point. And the tear down is like closing out. So once you are done with everything, delete the user. So once everything is done, well, I mean once this is fired up and the test is ready to fly, test the user row, test if the user row or uh, test if the user row is administrator. If an administrator is going to say okay, user row is an administrator, and if there is no and if the user is not found, is going to what reject and throw this error. Also test on the user email. So also confirm if the email that was created is identical or equals to what I set up for the setup entry points. So it's also going to check if it's match. It also works. So all these tests, don't forget, is going to be saved to the to the database you created. That's how it works. Cool. So um, I'm going to now go ahead now to my folder and run the test so as you can see we have the wordpress test plugin which is the terminal um directory for the wordpress test plugin that we're working on so don't forget also that we have composer script test which we run php units so i'm going to run composer so the script that i added is test that is test enter and it's now running. Don't forget, you must make sure this is installed on your system. So I'm going to scroll up for you to see what we have. As you can see, this test started and it created the user ID2 and it is success. User role is administrator. That's correct. And it logs the user because I asked it to log the user. And also, after the user is logged, we also see it's also what created the user which is what user created and here we have user email is valid that's amazing so if you check our test a, a test area you're going to notice the user role is administrator and the login area where i log the user is this place as you can see we have um uh, where is it again after the user has been created where we logged the user let's check it out again um, user created user row okay after row so here we have the error user created um, okay so okay user created this is it here we have the user created and this is the user data that was returned cool so um, once that is done now as you can see everything is working well so you can take your time and look at the code very well sit down so this tutorial is just to teach you guys to show you the possibility of PHP units in WordPress plugin development. Nothing um, serious. Okay. So um, if you have any improvements, any updates, any complaints, errors, like anything at all, drop it to the comments. I'll do my best to I mean, support. And if you have any video suggestion, drop it there. We'll work on it. Once again, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining uh, my video. Thank you. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share with your friends. See you guys in the next one. Bye.